Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. I want to begin by wishing everyone a happy and healthy holidays as well as a happy new year coming into 2022. I hope it's epic for everyone. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at two different NVIDIA drivers across the T-Rex miner as well as MB miner to see how choosing the right NVIDIA driver affects your mining performance. If you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button. Stick with me. Let's get started. I was working with the latest T-Rex miner 24.8 in Windows to see if I can improve upon my overclock settings as well as my LHR tuning to get even higher hash rates or better efficiency. But much to my surprise on my LHR test rig, I was getting killed with LHR locks. The same numbers that I was able to use in T-Rex 24.7, the same overclock settings as LHR values, they were not able to be sustained in T-Rex 24.8 on my mining rig. I had to do some in-depth research and I found out it's due to the NVIDIA driver was updated to 497.29, which is the latest driver at the time of this recording. I'll just say that it killed my hash rate on these cards. I wasn't able to get the same LHR values sustained and it was very, very frustrating. You know, when I'm used to having a 74 or 74.5 LHR value and the auto tuning would just keep dialing it down, dialing it down, sometimes one to even two full steps and you're just getting lower hash rates. Now, was it just limited to T-Rex? Did it affect other miners as well, like NB Miner? So we thought it'd be worthwhile to take a look and compare a couple of drivers and share our results with you. To do an accurate comparison of the different NVIDIA drivers, we ran the T-Rex Miner twice, once using NVIDIA driver 472.12, and that's shown up below. And to the side of me is driver 497.29. That's the latest NVIDIA driver at the time of this recording. And the results were quite different. Although we use the same overclock settings, same hardware, everything, the only difference is the NVIDIA driver. But the differences in our mining results, as well as our LHR settings, were quite substantial. If I pause the miners just to show a quick look, I'm seeing I have LHR values ranging from 75 on the top window down to even as low as 74. So I was able to keep my LHR value pretty high at that 74 and above. However, in the miner below that, I am using the later NVIDIA driver 497.29, I had to accept lower LHR settings. The LHR tuning kept hitting LHR locks and kept dialing back and dialing back on that LHR value. So I had to accept values of 73.8, ranging down to even as low as 72.6. And I'm seeing an overall hash rate reduction of about two to three percent. So there is definitely a difference in the drivers, as well as I found while I was mining with the driver 497.29, any little other activity going on on the computer would cause it to hit that LHR lock even more, further reducing my LHR hash rates. Let's take a look at MB Miner and see how that did. We did the same test comparison using NB Miner 40.1, using driver 472.12 above and driver 497.29 to the side of me. We had the same results for this. Let me pause this miners. We'll see we have in the top window for 472.12, I have LHR values of 74.6 down to 74. Actually, there's even some ones here into the high 75.6 range. So we still had good LHR values as well as we're getting great hash rates for these cards. But looking down below in version 497.29, I had to accept lower LHR values. I was coming down to even as low as 72 for my LHR. And I'm seeing that same almost two and a half to 3% reduction in my overall hash rate, as well as a reduction in efficiency for these cards. There definitely seems to be a sacrifice we're making by using the later versions of the NVIDIA drivers because we're able to get lower hash rates as well as L lower LHR values. However, in the later drivers, there is improvements for gaming, stability, content creation, the DLSS. So there may be features that you may need there and it may be kind of a trade-off. You may have to find, well, what is the most optimal driver for you to still be able to play your game or use your software correctly to be able to mine. So these are trade-offs you're just gonna have to kind of, I guess, balance out what is, if you have a dedicated mining rig, I would definitely probably stick to an earlier driver like 472.12, where if maybe if you're doing content creation or gaming, maybe you need some features to keep your game playing stable. So that's something you're gonna have to weigh in and balance out. But if you do that, just be mindful though too that the LHR settings you're gonna be getting with T-Rex or NB Miner may be reduced. So don't be so necessarily firm that, hey, I have to get that LHR 74. Maybe you'll have to accept that you'll get a 73 or a 72 on the LHR value and a lower hash rate, but realize you're still getting the improvement that you need there's maybe performance or stability that you need elsewhere. This is just something you're gonna to have to weigh in and consider that meets for your needs. 
In this video, we've shown how our mining results are affected by using different versions of the NVIDIA driver. We've tested T-Rex Miner 24.8 as well as NB Miner 40.1, and the difference was pretty consistent of 2-3% difference we were seeing based on just the driver alone. There's many other drivers out there to test. If you feel confident and had great results with a different driver, please put a comment down below and we'll take a look at it. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up like smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already we welcome all your questions and comments please put them down below until next time we'll see you in the next video happy mining